Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Davey. Pete. You alright? How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Good. Thank you. Good. We missed a week last week. We did, we did. We get a lot of stick when we, uh, when we miss a week. But it is for good cause because it, it always... It's down to the reason because we're bringing out new stuff and we're filming. Working on new projects and, and things like that. So which apologies, is, apologies when we do miss it, but when we do miss it, it is for a good reason. Um, and we're showing you a new trick today. Oh. You'll be glad to hear. Yes. Yeah. And we're showing two tricks that you wanted to, to sort of bring back to light. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, if anyone asks me that one trick that I carry on me all the time, it has to be... This one. Simplex, yeah. Um, <coughs> and, well, this one as well, actually. I've, I've spoken a few times about having that extra little pocket that you can keep, uh, you know, in your jeans that you keep the gimmicks in. And this is one that I always keep in it. I've got a new handle in to share um, if you if you get this as well. Brilliant. And then we've got your, the new one. Yes, which we will talk about in a moment. But before we go into that, I just want to say to everyone at home, um, about a year ago, I think it was, I filmed a Q&A session for a Facebook group called um, A Magic Place or Believe in Magic Place. Uh -huh. uh, it was basically a, a two hour, it's not an interview, it's just like a chat and um, about me and my experiences in magic and advice and stuff like that. So what we're going to do for you guys, because um, I put it up on our Facebook page yesterday and I've had some really good comments from people saying, oh, you know, we didn't see it first time round and yeah. really glad we watched it. So we're going, to put them, uh, we're going to put the video on our website. So if you have a look on our streaming videos, it will be there as a streaming video. It's free of charge. Um, so all you need to do is click it and either you can search for it on YouTube, it's on there, or if you want it in your account, just click on it and, yeah, and nice. watch it in your account. I had a little watch of it. You watched five minutes, you said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I was watching, because when it came up, I was watching, I was engrossed in what I was watching on TV. What were you watching on TV that was better than watching me? <laughs> Daredevil. Yeah, all right, I'll give you that. <laughs> but I will watch the rest of What I saw was really, was fun. Well, so. the bit you saw was most probably, hello, I'm Peter Nardi. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I tend to do the bit where you, you skip a bit. Do you know what I mean? Just to see. If oh, you... yeah, 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 yeah. So you didn't watch five minutes. You just skip it. This is getting worse. You just fast forward it. <laughs> fast forwarded through it. What I saw was fun. All right, let's leave it at that. Well, there, there are some. There's a couple of funny stories on there that I share about, um, especially one about Blockhead, which I've told you many a time. Yeah. But I shared that on there. Um, I do a couple of effects towards the end, but it, it's basically just. They ask me questions uh, about performing and, and stuff like that. So but you do um, have some great stories of the always sharing, and um, yeah, a, a few of them I, I know are in there because I was hearing you explain as I was flicking through. So it's well, from what I saw, it's well worth a watch. Yeah, know? just grab yourself a cup of tea, and uh, if you've got two hours spare, I think it runs for about two hours, it right? Does, yeah. yeah, it's quite long. So um, yeah, but that's up there. <laughs> just have a look on our streaming videos. It's a it's a live Q and A. Um, and talking about streaming videos, yes, we in the past few weeks we've added uh, some new ones, um, which have been selling really, really well. There's um, Hup by our good friend Neil Granger, yeah, Brilliant. and uh, two effects by our very good friend Brian Caswell, yeah, the genius that is Brian. One of them is called Weird. Uh -huh. Um, and the other one is called Outnumbered. Yeah, both brilliant. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, all three of them are, are card-based. I, I will effects. say with Hup, um, it, you know, in particular, is it, it's had some really great reviews. People are actually shocked at how much information, how many tricks you're, you're learning. Yeah, because you're not just learning the move and the change. You're, yeah. you're learning loads of routines to do with it. Yeah, and, it, and it's got fantastic reviews on it. Um, I will say as well, if you purchase any of our products, please just pop on the site two minutes, just pop a little review on there. Uh, yeah. It helps give the other people an understanding whether you know it's for them or not. Yeah, it's always good. And we do post all reviews, whether they're good or bad, yeah. as long as they're relevant. I mean, we... People sometimes, instead of putting a review, they ask a question, so those won't get posted. Yeah. Um, 
But if it's a genuine review, review, whether it's good or it's bad, it will go up there to help you guys um, make a conscious decision on the product you're buying. And people do have different opinions. So some people yeah. might think a product's excellent, some people might not. Um, and it's good to have that sort of balance if people are, are putting things up there. So um, yeah, whatever, you, whatever you've purchased, if you've got time, just pop a little review on because it really does help people. Um, Perfect. Right, so let's move along. What are we going to talk about first, young David? Uh, let's talk about linking mints. Okay. Yeah? Mm. So, linking mints. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, this effect has been around for years. Uh, it, a lot of magicians have been using it, uh, but it, it kind of went down one avenue. It, it is what it says it is. It's linking mints and, and that's it. Yeah. Um, I've seen a couple of people do this superbly. Justin Flom, one of my favourites, he, he literally rests it on his farm, like there's the two, and he does that. And then they just link. link on his yeah. farm. Um, check out his stuff if you haven't seen it. Perfect. Looks brilliant. Uh, I've got a couple of routines with this, which it, it just looks, and, and I hate that saying, organic, um, because the mints aren't the peppermint. But... It is like I've got mints in my pocket. If someone is yeah. like shows a trick, well, I, the, the thing is, you're right. I mean, organic objects. Let, let's just make this clear. When people are talking about it in magic, and it's used a lot, means that things. It, it sort of means things that are, are around you. Yeah. So yeah. rather than bringing out a, a sparkly prop, it's stuff that you go, "Oh, I've got some keys, and I've got a wallet." Yeah. Organic props that are, are natural. Yeah. Um, so that's what I mean by that. But yeah, carry on. So, so I've got two routines that I do um, using organic props, I suppose. One's using a set of headphones and one's using their keys. Yeah. Uh, and I think we're, we're going to film it so you get to see what both look like. Um, and it's not rocket science. I mean, if you own this effect, you'll be able to do what I do. If you don't, there'll be the stream of videos to go with it as well. But I think it's really nice. It just seems... In the moment, it seems I've got some mints here. Can I borrow your keys? Yeah. You know, so it's really nice. So let's take a look at uh, the two performances for the link in mints. Borrow your keys? You certainly can. I'm going to try something really cool with the mint. So uh, if you could hold on to the keys mm -hmm. so that one of the rings is available. Up oh, like this? Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to take this polo mint like this. Ready? Yeah. You might feel it as well. <laughs> Straight on there, right? That looks. No, nice actually, one. leave that it right there. there. That'd be perfect if you could leave it right there. I'm just going to grab this mint so you can see it and just tug, and it will come straight off. And you can check that out. You can check that that's solid as well. And then it, it's a trick which is completely organic, uses their keys, uses a polo mint. So. I wish I could get my keys on this as quick as that. <laughs> Give me a shout next time you need to. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> Right, so that was the uh, Lincoln Mints. And now we've got this back in stock, which yes. is, uh, has become one of your favorites, has been one of my favorites for years. Uh, Simplex Monty. Yeah. Now we weren't sure whether we've actually done this on a vlog before. Yeah, I know it's been on a Lucy Loader, uh, but they uh, aren't viewed as much as the vlogs because you're not on it. So, yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Long as short it is. Um, so, you know, we're going to do this on here so you guys can, can see it. But if you come to our stand at any convention, this is one of my go-to because uh, it, it's so visual. There's, it's about two or three minute routine and it's, it's four cards that you can just keep in your, in your wallet. And this is always in the top compartment of my wallet. That's not a sales pitch. That's genuinely true. Yeah. Because I'm always set to, to go with this. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love it. Very, very visual and very, very cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Monty effects are always a favorite with lay people. 
Yeah. Um, especially if you get sort of money in part. I mean, not playing them for money, yeah. but, you know, in your presentation, you, you either talk about they use it to win money. As yeah. soon as you mention gambling and scams, people are interested. That's why there's so many movies about con men and things like that, because people are sort of intrigued by this sort of money scam gambling type arena. Um, and that's why something like this is so great. But plus you've got those, if you want them, you've got those beautiful visual changes. Yeah. When I do it, I don't do the visual change. Yeah. Um, I play it as if it's a proper Monty effect, but then I have the, either I have the kicker at the end where the cards change places. Yeah. Uh, but in my particular routine, at the end, all three cards are examinable because yeah. you know the, the card, I put a joker in my pocket and then that ends up being the queen and then uh -huh. you know, everything's, everything's yeah. clean. But that's fully explained on here. But you're going to show us a handling that you use, yeah, which isn't on the disc. No, but the, the moves are. So anyone that's already got this yeah. will be able to watch what you're going to do now and instantly know how to do it because yeah. everything's explained on here. It's just the way you've routined it that's different. The yeah, absolutely. The uh, I want to <coughs> say with this as well, um, is with just these four cards, it plays massive. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm going to be doing this tomorrow night. I'm at the Magic Circle tomorrow night yeah. uh, entertaining uh, the public and... There'll be about 25 people in front of the table. And, I, and I'm going to do this because it, it, you'll see it in a moment. But it gets people involved. It gets them intrigued. And then you switch it up and there's a magical moment at the end, yeah. which just makes them go, what? Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, would you like to see it? I can... Can I say no? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it, David. <laughs> right, let's go to a picture now of uh, Simplex Monty. Pete, I want to show you something. This has been played all the way around the world. It's called the Free Car Monty Find the Lady Chase the Ace. You may be familiar with it. Uh, it's normally a way for people to scam money out of innocent bystanders. You're going to play the part of the innocent person. Uh, so imagine this is your money. We're going to place that down here. Now, I'm actually going to help you out with this uh, a couple of times, actually. You can see they're all uh, jokers apart from one, which is a queen. So that would be your money card. That's the one you have to pay attention to. Okay. So merely going to mix these. Okay, like this. And just to make it a bit easier for you, Pete, I'm going to get rid of one of the jokers. Right. We'll pop it over here underneath the money. Okay, which leaves me in position with three cards. Now I'm going to be very fair in this whole process. Okay, I'm going to show you the backs, I'm going to show you the faces. Mm -hmm. There's the Joker, Queen, Joker. Now the Queen is the money card. All I'm going to do is throw these cards down onto the table like so. Yep. And you have to keep your eyes on where you believe the Queen to be. Position one, two, or three. Uh, it's definitely number two. Would you bet on it? Yeah. yeah, and if you did, uh, you'd lose, because it's my game, and I always win. I'll show you this again, Pete. This time I try and make it a bit easier to follow, all right? If I take one joker face up, the other joker face up, and I leave the queen just there in dead centre, you can see it when it's face down, and you can see it when it's face up. Yeah. Actually, <clears throat> even more fair, I lay these on the table like this. Wait for the move. There's always a move. That wasn't it. Boop, that was it there. One, two, or three, P? Uh, two. Yeah, that's what they always say, but it's my game, and I always win. So I'll actually let you in on the secret now. I'll let you in on what's actually happening. Now, a con man is not a con man without a trick. Uh, and the trick to this is that no matter where you believe the card to be, the moment the cards hit the table, the con man can change the position of the queen. So even now, you can see the queens in the middle. Mm -hmm. But as soon as these cards hit the table, if I want the queen to be on the top or the bottom, it can be. In this case, I want the queen to be nowhere but over here where we started, underneath the money. And that is now mine. Awesome. Right, so that was Simplex Monty. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think I've said it all, really. It's a perfect, it packs more play big. Uh, and it, and it's, it's a lot of different routines that you can do with those cards you get. So, yeah. yeah, well we, we cover quite a few of the, the handlings, or quite a few different handlings on the DVD, different moves and changes and so forth. Yeah. Um, and it is one of those things, once you get used to the gimmick, and it is, in effect, the routine is self-working. Yeah. Um, it takes 
a couple of minutes of handling practice. That's yeah, it, exactly. to, to get used to the gimmick. It, yeah. It's a beautiful gimmick manufactured by Rob Bromley. Um, <laughs> it's absolutely superb and it's within anyone's capabilities, whether you're a beginner or a, you know, a pro will pick it up in seconds, a beginner will pick it up in a couple of minutes. So, you know, it's just a yeah. great, great trick. <clears throat> but we're gonna move on now to um, an effect yes. that I purchased the rights to um, got to be two or three years ago now, yeah. um, called the Ultimatum Deck. But you kept this. I did keep it, and I'll, there's two reasons why I kept it. <coughs> Let me explain. Uh, a few years ago, I was at the Blackpool Convention. Uh, my good friend Mark Elsden, we were in the bar uh, one evening, and Mark said, oh, you know, come and meet Steve. So I went over, met this guy called Steve Brownlee. Um, I'd seen him before, I'd seen him around the conventions, but I never spoke to him. So Mark said, oh, would you mind showing Peter a trick? So, you know, he, he proceeded to show me a selected card at any number. Yeah. So the idea is, I reached into the deck, picked a card, put it back, he shuffled the deck, said, give me a number between one and 52. I gave him a number. Um, he spread the deck on the table, I counted to that number. That was my card. So, you know, I thought, yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, it, it, you know, fooled me. And then he said, do you want to see it again? And I went, yeah, all right. <laughs> so he got me to pick another card, shuffle the deck, spread the deck, give me a number, count out number, and the card was there, right? So I was, I was hooked um, just watching that trick. And then we sat down, we had a discussion. And basically, Steve has created... Um, a utility deck, not just for one trick. You can do a lot of different tricks with it. Right, yeah. Um, now, I, I purchased the rights. The, the rights were owned by Russell Hall from Magic Enterprises up in Sheffield. And Russell had already released the trick, but he, he had only sold it in small quantities at conventions and people that come in the shop. Um, so I negotiated with Russell and agreed to, to buy the rights. Um, but since that time, I sort of kept it to myself. Yeah. Purely as a bit of a um, magician faller. I always knew at some point I would bring it out because that was the purpose of buying it. Yeah. Um, but it was one of those things that was really nice just to have in my bag because whenever I got together with magicians, I could just throw one of these tricks in yeah. and really fry them. Um, well, that was one of the first times <coughs> I saw it. With you, the open prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah the open prediction uh, on, on magicians. And, and most of your stuff I know and, and we talk about with Jan. Yeah. And, and I go, what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and you, you wouldn't tell me for the evening, just sort of messing around. And then you finally tell me what it was. And yeah, it, it fooled me, it did. Uh, but there's, I mean, there's so much more than just what you did with the open yeah. prediction, as you're saying, you know, there's uh, a card at any number and something you're going to show us now. Yeah. Uh, all of which is covered. Uh, yeah. It's, so basically, with, with Ultimatum, Ultimatum, we're expecting to release it the first week in June, um, but it's up for pre-sale on our site now. Um, it comes with, obviously, the special deck and it comes with uh, streaming video. Yeah. Now, there was an original DVD that came with it, um, and we've refilmed some footage as well. So you're going to get both the new footage and the older footage. The older footage is like a jam session, right. um, which is really good. So there's some really neat little ideas coming out, as nice. well as solid routines. Um, and uh, the same, like the the new footage is four or five solid routines, um, which I'll talk about in a moment. I hear they're going to show me a trick. I am going to show you a trick. How's your intuition? Very, very good. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate. We're gonna test it right now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do a uh, perform a little trick with a packet of cards. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now it's not one of those standard tricks where I I sort of offer you the deck and get you to select one out. You're gonna have total total control over everything. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all we need to do is make sure the cards are properly mixed before we start. Um, and I'm going to ask you just to cut the deck. Yeah. You're going to have a look at the cards you cut to, and then put the cards back down. Okie dokes. Okay. Yep. 
Make sure it's square. It's square. Now, some people, every time I, I do an effect like this, some people think that maybe I could estimate whereabouts in the deck you cut. Was it near the top? Was it near the bottom? Was it near the middle? Um, so we're going to shuffle the cards up just to make sure there's no way I could keep track of where that card was. We'll right. give them a really, really good mix. Nice. Okay. Because um, it's not really that type of effect. Right. This is all about your intuition. You've got a card now in your mind. Yes? I've got one there, yes. I'm going to start dealing the cards onto the table like so. Yeah. When you think the time's right, just say stop. Okay. When you think the time's right. Still don't think it's right. <laughs> <laughs> there. This one? Yes. Sure? Yeah. You don't want the one before? No. You don't want the one after? No. No, thank you. And remember, you could have stopped anywhere here. Correct. You could have stopped on any card. In fact, literally any card in the pack. Yeah. But you stopped on one. What was the card that you just peeped at? The Ace of Diamonds. The Ace of Diamonds? Yeah. Show our good friends at home. Let's see if your intuition is good. <laughs> Spot on. The force is strong <laughs> with this one. <laughs> Very good, very good. Right, so that's it for this week's Alakazam video blog. I don't think we're going to be here next week because you're away on holiday. I'm away for a week, yes. Mm. Uh, but when I come back, yes, we have a really, or well, the day after we're filming a really exciting project, we're waiting for this. Uh, yes, so. yeah, this is something that, that's been on the cards for, for years. Yeah. Um, and we, we finally sort of arranged it. It's going to be happening. Um, we're filming it in a couple of weeks. We're aiming to release August. Yes. Uh, it's right. a really good collection of uh, material, but we'll let you know more about that as and when um, we get closer. So just to, to sum up for me, uh, you can pre-order Ultimatum now, release the first week in June. Yeah. Um, so that's on our site. And where's our thing? What thing? For them to subscribe. Oh, it's just there. Oh, yeah. Can <laughs> <Yeah, it's laughs> you see it? No, I didn't there. It's just sort of appeared. <laughs> I will say, guys, if you haven't already, I know we say it every week, but we've had emails of people saying, yeah, I, I'm subscribed to your uh, channel, but I don't get the vlog videos. Uh, you're not subscribed to the vlog channel, you're subscribed to Alakazam. Yes. So, which is great because you're going to still, you know, get, get all the products. All the and products, everything. but you're not going to get this. So, if you haven't done so, here, you can subscribe to this, where as soon as the vlog goes up, it will be there in in the uh, the little category yeah. where the vlog picture is. We'll click on it, and it'll be at the top of the page. So, just to clarify that, I know we say it every week, but um, yeah, yeah, but Pete, yeah, you're right because we've got two YouTube channels. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, unless I film a little cheeky one next week. Yeah, I might I might film something on my phone and send it to you. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be really cool. Magic related, of course. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>